So today I'm going to build some drawers for my workbench here. I built this workbench a year and a half, two years ago or so. The plan all along was to put more drawers in, but I just never got around to it. I'll be using the half, half, half method to make the drawer boxes. It's a great method. It's one simple setup on your table saw to make all your cuts. The result is a very strong drawer box. It's going to last a long time. So if that's something you think you'd be interested in, stick around.
So we did our setup, we made a test cut on some scrap, made a little adjustment to the fence, did another test cut, and came out really nice. It's tight enough where it holds together, but not so tight where I have to hammer it together and squeeze out all the glue. I'm happy with this. We're gonna go ahead and go with this setup and uh, keep rolling along. So we have a rabbit in our dado cut, and as you can see, the drawer face and the drawer side fit together very nicely. Now we just have to cut a dado uh, in all of these boards to accept the drawer bottom. And we'll get started on that now. Okay, I got the initial dados cut for the drawer bottoms. The uh, material for my drawer bottoms are these shelves. So I need to get all this stuff out of the way, get these shelves pulled out so I know exactly how thick to make those dados. And it's been raining outside, so I really don't have any place to put this stuff except kind of pile it in the shop here somewhere. It's a 12 inch Porter Cable dovetail jig that I bought probably 10 years ago and I have never even opened it. You have stuff like that in your shop?
So assembly on these drawers is really straightforward. A little bit of glue, some brad nails, and you're set. Um, because these are pretty large drawers and they're going to be holding a lot of weight, I'll probably shoot some screws in them um, just for a little extra strength. So let's get started. With the drawers assembled, the finish line is in sight. I got these 22 inch full extension soft closed drawer glides. We'll get these installed and we'll get this project finished up. So I found some scrap wood and it's gonna work great for spacers. This is just some half inch plywood that was in my scrap wood pile and it's gonna work as a spacer down below uh, for the drawer and it's going to work this way uh, for the slide. And then I found this wider one that will go on top of this slide when it's done and then my second slide will go up here. I'm only going to get one screw in the back and nothing here in the middle. See if I have something longer for better support back there. So I swapped this uh, screw out back here for one of these inch and 5 eighths gold screws and I put one in the front too and it doesn't interfere with the function of this at all. So I'm going to go ahead and mount these using these screws. We gotta do that same thing three more times. Before I install these drawers, I am gonna reinforce these boxes with some screws. I was just flip them over and do the same thing on the other side.
Well, the drawers were all done. They're installed. They look good. They work good. I like the soft close. And I still need to get faces on all these drawers. I have enough of this plywood left over to make faces for all this. So I might just make it out of that plywood. I don't know, we'll see. If you weren't familiar with the half, half, half method of building drawers before, you are now. I hope I explained it uh, properly. If you have any questions or uh, want any further explanation on uh, anything I did in the video, just put it in the comments down below and uh, I'll answer any questions. Go ahead and like, subscribe, ring the bell. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for stopping by.